Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're here for another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're talking about IP addresses. And specifically, we're talking about how IP addresses in your home network get assigned. There's a bit of a spoiler alert here, right up front. Your router is responsible for assigning IP addresses to your devices on your home network. Let's dive a little bit more into that. We're going to talk about when IP addresses get assigned by your router. And then there are two different ways that your router can assign IP addresses. We'll go over each of those as well. But let's dive into it. As I mentioned, your router is responsible for assigning IP addresses on your network to your devices. But let's talk about how that happens. Let's say I bring my phone into the network for the first time. I'm connecting this phone to my home network. It's never been connected to this network before. What's the process that happens here? Well, the first thing that happens is your phone will wirelessly connect to the Wi-Fi network that's broadcast by your router. Essentially what this is doing is it's just connecting your phone to your router. Your phone is announcing, hey, I'm connecting to your network. I would like to be able to communicate with other devices on this home network and potentially the internet if there's a connection to the internet in the home as well. At this time, this phone can't communicate with anything else on the network until it gets an IP address. An IP, IP address is essentially just the location of the device. Think of it like a mailing address. The other devices on your network all have IP addresses, so they have mailing addresses. You can send them letters back and forth. You can communicate, do whatever you need to do. But because this device doesn't have an IP address yet, it doesn't have a mailing address. You can't send it messages. It can't send out other mail. This is why we need to have our IP address assignment happen right when that phone connects to the network. In many cases, this happens automatically. And this gets into the two different ways that routers assign IP addresses. The first way is through dynamic host configuration protocol. It's also referred to as DHCP. And that's just an automatic method of assigning an IP address to the device when it joins the network. Your phone joins the router's Wi-Fi network. The router says, okay, we have a new device on our hands. Let's give it one of these IP addresses. And this IP address that gets assigned to the phone is in a specific range or pool that is a list of essentially available IP addresses. So within your router's settings, and we'll look at it later, you can identify the range of IP addresses that you want your router to automatically assign to devices. This is the quickest and easiest way. It takes no human interaction at all to assign the IP address to the device. In the vast majority of cases, this is what's enabled. And I will link to a video that I've created down below if you want to go and check for yourself in your router settings if DHCP is enabled or not. Okay, so I said there were two methods of assigning IP addresses. The first is with DHCP. The second is a more manual method. There are two, it's assigning an IP address to a device manually. This can be referred to as making a DHCP reservation. Essentially, you're just reserving an IP address for the device. You're saying, hey, I want, I want this IP address to be assigned to my phone. And it will never change. That IP address will be the same until you manually disassociate the IP address from the device, in this case, a phone. We'll also look at that in my router settings here in just a second. 
you'll be able to see a list of all the IP addresses that have been assigned manually to devices. I think at this point that pretty much covers the two different methods for assigning IP addresses to devices that your router uses. Let's take a look at the settings and maybe get a clearer picture here of what we're talking about. All right, everybody, here we are in my router settings. We're looking in particular, we're in the advanced tab here in the network section, specifically looking at the DHCP server settings. And these settings will tell us, number one, if we have DHCP enabled, which is what allows us to automatically assign IP addresses. We can also look at the IP address pool, the IP addresses that are being assigned to devices if DHCP is enabled. We're looking at the amount of time that a device can reserve an IP address before it needs to reserve it again. Here is the default gateway, which is the DHCP server, which is also my router, 192.168.0.1. You can see that up here too in the search bar, 192.168.0.1. That's the IP address of my router. And then if we take a look below, we can see a list of devices that currently have been assigned IP addresses with DHCP. And before we look at that, let's also look at this address reservation section. This would be where all of your static IP addresses are listed. If you have a device that you manually assign an IP address, that would be in this list here. But now let's take a look at the DHCP client list and it will show us the devices that have been automatically assigned IP addresses. All right, so here is our DHCP client list. As you can see, I currently have nine devices that have automatically been assigned IP addresses in my network. Here is the lease time. So this is how long the particular device has had an IP address reserved. And once it reaches that two hour mark, as we saw above, it'll need to reserve that IP address again or refresh its lease is another way of saying that. So that pretty much covers it when you look at your router settings, but that details exactly what we're talking about here today, seeing if your router is automatically assigning IP addresses. And then on top of that, which IP addresses on your network have been manually assigned. All right, folks, that pretty much covers the topic for the day today. We identified how your router is responsible for assigning IP addresses in your home network. It does this either automatically through DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or you can manually assign IP addresses with DHCP reservations. If you'd like to learn some more information about this topic, I go a little bit more in depth in a blog post that I will link to down below. I'll also include that other video that I've made in case you want a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to take a look at your router's DHCP settings. And if, if you wanna look at if DHCP is enabled in your network or on your router, and, the vast majority of cases it is. But if you want to confirm that, take a look at the video that I'll link to down below. And as always, if you have any questions about this, if any of this information was confusing, just feel free to drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. As always, thanks for checking in on this episode from Network From Home. We'll be sure to catch you on the next one.